I'm just trying to get a sense whether you think investors are quickly going to jump in and break the upward trend that we've seen in the market by perhaps trying to take uh, profits because of uh, uh, the, the, the losses that we saw last year. Um, to some extent, yes, but if you know you're sitting in a fundamentally good stock and it hasn't quite reached its fair value um, range yet, then it will still pay to, to sit in there because for the non-financials, we're still expecting quite a round of year-end results um, and quite a few of them we expect to do very well when those year-end results come out. And so for those fundamentally um, valued um, well-valued stocks, it would be good to stay in. And what we saw in the market yesterday were um, strong movements by the banks, but um, interestingly, the insurers also um, did positively. They gained 97 basis points for the second day this um, yeah, second trading day this year. And so we also saw positive movements from that from that from that sector. Hmm. Interestingly, I mean, you talk about evalu evaluations in the banking sector. Now, we had a comment, as I was telling uh, Leon a few minutes ago, of a South African uh, fund manager who was talking about uh, bank valuations in Africa, and he was saying he doesn't see any value uh, in, uh, in African banks outside of South Africa. After the re-rating that we've seen in the banks, limited though it might be, do you think Nigerian banks are still offering value? Um, well, looking at the trail of activities that Nigerian banks have gone through over the last 12 to 18 months, um, and looking at the values that they're currently trading trading at by, it would it would um, it, it would be best to actually look at them on a com uh, bank by bank basis, not just look at the sector as a whole, because in the whole sector there are actually um, pockets of opportunity in a few banks that are still um, that still have the potential for growth. Um, the expectations are that, and um, following the clean up of their um, financials last year, the 2009 year has ended, and um, all the write offs have gone with that. Um, as the economy starts to um, pick up, as many of them start to build up their loan books again, we should start to see a gradual growth growth in, in um, interest earnings as well as non-interest earnings. Um, not the kind of growth that we'd seen previously, but um, a gradual, um, more qualitative growth, we believe, from this point in time. Mm. Now, Nigerian banks, of course, are the place to be. I mean, we have seen some of uh, some expressions of interest coming from outside Nigeria, and we've also heard Nigerian banks themselves talking about perhaps taking stakes or taking control of some of the banks that were rescued by the Central Bank last year. Now, yesterday, we had uh, First Bank coming in and saying, yeah, they might be interested in one of the banks. And also today, we're hearing that all Mutual here in South Africa are thinking of increasing the stake they hold in one of uh, the banks that were res rescued. It is, in fact, that stock is uh, Oceanic. Do you think we are likely to see the authorities allowing a foreign owned bank taking control of a Nigerian owned bank? Um, I think, yes, the CBN governor has stated um, severally that he is looking to see um, new foreign investors, if that's the case, um, enter into Nigeria banks, um, not only to bring funding, not only to bring capital, but also to bring expertise, also, st also to bring um, proper structural frameworks, um, also to bring um, the expertise and then proper management into this bank. Many of, one of the issues um, Nigerian banks had previously was um, a proper corporate governance structure, and that's one of the things that um, um, he believes that the a foreign foreign institution would be able to bring into into Nigerian banks. So I, I do think that the authorities will be um, will be happy to see this kind of. Um, this kind of interest in Nigerian banks. Mm. Now, Oluwakemi, we've seen in the first few days uh, uh, rumblings of discontent coming out of the Niger, uh, Niger Delta, suggesting that militants there are beginning to think uh, of going back to take up arms again. Are you getting a sense of things unraveling in there, and uh, are investors worried about that? Yeah, um, unfortunately, that's, that's been the case over the last few weeks. Um, prior to um, December, there did seem to be an amnesty program that was working. We had seen build up in the um, oil, oil production in Nigeria. Um, December 2009, oil production volumes were put at um, 2.053 million barrels per day, up from about 1.6. Um, as of June, July. So there was some progress. Um, unfortunately, we've seen the, the um, militants come back to say now that the proposal that the government has given to them is unacceptable, and um, that they, they do not believe that their interests have been taken into consideration in drawing up those proposals. And um, they have indicated that they might have to go back to, to what was previously the status quo. Unfortunately, that would not be, and that would not um, do very well for the Nigerian economy. As we know, um, Nigerian government revenue is um, heavily dependent on um, oil export earnings and where um, production in those regions start to be affected again, it will have significant impact on government revenue.